Hey, hi all. In this video, we will discuss about event propagation in Lightning. So, events in Lightning are used to transfer a message or data between two different components. Uh, events are useful when you want to send some data from one component to another to pass some crucial information amongst the components. Events in Lightning are of two types that is, uh, component events and application events. So, uh, when an event is fired, the event is propagated up to DOM. Uh, so DOM is document object model. Event propagation typically involves two phases. One is bubble phase and the second one is capture, capture phase. Event bubbling and event capturing. The most commonly used event propagation phase for handling event is event bubbling or bubble phase. Uh, this is the by default phase for the events. In bubble phase, event is triggered at the child level and it propagates up to the DOM. Where, whereas event capturing phase moves from top to bottom of the DOM, this phase is rarely used for event head. So now the, the picture shows the event phase both in capture and bubble phase. We have two flags which determines, uh, which determines uh, the behavior of event in event bubbling phase. So for a bubble event is from bottom to top and capture is from top to bottom. So as you can see in this uh, in this example we have a component F and in that component F for an example we have a custom event which we have registered in component F. The event is registered in component F and uh, from uh, in the JS file we have fired that particular event then if we are using a bubble phase that is the default phase of an event then it will it will be handled in component E in component B and then in component A that is 4 5 6 will be utilized in the bubble phase so this is how the event will propagate when we are using bubbling phase or when we are not using any phase because bubble or the bubble bubbling phase is the by default phase used by the events from child to parent communication in lightning. So when we are using capture phase in that it will be from top to bottom but uh, for an example we have a custom event. Uh, the custom event is registered in component F, uh, it is fired from component F, then if we are right in the handler of component A stating that just handle that particular uh, custom event and we have given the phase as capture in aura, in LWC it might be different, uh, uh, it, uh, it will be an indication stating that it is a capture phase. In that case, uh, the component which, uh, sorry, the event which is registered in component F will be first handled in component A, then in uh, then it will be handled in component B and then it will be handled in component E and then it, uh, it will be handled in component F itself. So that's how it propagates in capture phase which is very rarely used. So majorly we use the, the bubble phase. So majorly uh, when we want or when we want uh, when we want some data uh, to be updated in the parent component. Uh, Oh, and we use and we want to use the data which is in the child component in that uh, we use the bubble phase mostly or the event uh, propagation of the bubble phase so that's all for uh, this video thank you and in the next video or in the upcoming videos we will see uh, or we will look more of like uh, how the how the how this components events and app application events specifically works in the lightning web components and uh, how this comp communication between the different uh, components occur like uh, if the if the two components are not in hierarchy then how uh, the uh, how the data in, or, or the how the information is trans uh, transferred from one component to another and how uh, how that component can utilize the information provided from the component so yeah we will see the this whole stuff in the upcoming videos so thank you.